Welcome back, everybody. We get into Skullkraken and we head off from Sandbar Island. Yeah, let me let me put on, let me put on the medicine. Yeesh. Water bottles. Where are they? Where are they? Max repel. There we go. I I stocked up on a few items. So we are cleared to cover the ocean. Yay. Zimbar is the West has a lab for Pokemon. Okay. Uh, so, after that coin flip, we know where we're heading off now. We are heading over to Seafoam Islands, home of most, if not all, of the ice types in the game. Because there's no place cooler than Seafoam Islands. And we're going to be facing off against Poliwag, so might as well go. Alright, make, make a bunch has a chance to fail. Joy. Yep, so we're going to be fighting off trainers here and try and get over to Siva Island. <laughs> Hopefully. More seekings, yay! Uh, let's, just... let's go use Seismic Toss. We, we don't use this move enough. The gently grab horn. Chuck. <laughs> get confused in the process. Ah, damn it. Hey, right, there we go. Body break. <laughs> ah. One trainer down. Yeah, let's keep on going. Okay, we had the barricade up there. My boyfriend gave me gave me big pearls. <sighs> to match your big pearls? <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> We're up against water trainers. What do you want me to say? Ooh, look at our shelter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we are heading off to Seafoam, which is a dungeon I'm pretty sure it's going to take us two episodes to go through. Maybe less? It's... Oh, no, not this shit. No, no, please, God, no, why? Why? Oh, damn it. Damn you, water wrap. Never decided rap was a good idea. Is an asshole. Air shelter. Joy. I wish I could use Jolt right now, but I had to train up Mary. And it begins again! Oh no, wait, I can switch out of this. I had, I had potions. We should be faster than Cloyster. We can use Earthquake <laughs> on the ocean, which brings certain things in mind of how the hell this is happening. <laughs> why on God's green earth is Clamp like this? God fucking damn it, why is rap bullshit? Is it the only move that it knows? No, wait. That would be best bet the case. <sighs> Fuck. There. 
taken care of. You don't have to deal with best bet any more of those. <sighs> Gosh. Make me use a potion. Sniper. There we go. Sorry, Mary. <laughs> you got really beat up there. Anyway. So I'm here from Samar Island. Why is everybody swimming? Like, seriously, like, why is every person here swimming? Why didn't you just use your own Pokemon to surf? <laughs> Coming from the lazy asshole. <laughs> My Gyarados is great at swimming. <laughs> he carries this along happily. <laughs> and now I'm just thinking of Kangaskhan with a giant light preserver. With uh, the baby... No, no, Mary with a giant light preserver and Cole with an even smaller light preserver. <laughs> just in the water, drifting, and as the water goes into the pouch, he rises up, then it goes down, up, and down. <laughs> Uh. <sighs> I got my strength. Strength has a better hit ratio. I should do that more often. I know. I'm disappointed too. I wish it was a better fight as well. I wrote my bird Pokemon here. Oh, you poor bastard. That's but you're stuck there. You don't have any water types to get you home. Well, you do have flying types, but... Oh. Well, let's hope you get off here. Oh good, this is going to be easy. Something a little easier for us to fight. Ah, uh, yes. And there we go. Alright, let's switch in for Jolt. Because he had a taste of this, so. Might as well bring him in. Hey. Oh, let's see. Let's go, Kraken. The most amount of water we had to drift over. But, thankfully, Skull Kraken's relatively fast and. We don't have to worry about dealing with any more type Pokemon because of their repel, so. Nice and easy uh, trainer battles. That's taken care of. And we'll put Jolt up front. Wait, there's a whole barge here? That's weird. Check out my buff physique. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm fucking ripped! <laughs> Thunderbolts. Thankfully, we're in the middle of salt water, so this electricity should just dissipate. No, we should be fine. The image of five tentacles slowly bobbing up into the water in a tentacle. Yeah, we'll totally be fine. <laughs> okay. And. Oh, okay. Finally, we're right here. But it goes into you, right? There must have been turns that we missed. So it looks like we're going up and seeing what we can find there. Our horsey. This way she doesn't have anything really interesting on her, on her team. It's good. Oh! 42. 
Good. We need that experience. Seal. Okay, that's a new one. Uh, let's bring out... Uh, bo -bo -bo -bo. Oh, damn, Arcade's been falling behind. This is Seal. Seal is based off a of seal. It's a water ice type. It can only be found at Sea of Island, so here's your small introduction to the exotic life there. It's, um... It's typing isn't... It's unique, to say the least. It's, it's outright unique. But I would recommend not going for... Uh... Seal. Even though it being a war ice type, it doesn't exactly mean it's the best Pokemon in the world to use. So keep that in mind when uh, when you're uh, when you're thinking of a team, because Seal is a very very weird Pokemon to actually go for. And welcome into Sea of Islands. Hmm. Hmm. Why are we just getting a straight trail? Okay, let's just use Surf here. Okay, this is... Huh. We got to the bomb very quickly, actually. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Usually this is... Usually this is a whole maze. Huh? Danger, fast, current. Okay, that means we can't exactly use uh, Skull Dragon to swim through this area. Because I doubt we can actually... Repels effect wore off. We can actually make a dent with our surf. Da, 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 max repel. And we had to find a way to calm the current a little bit somehow. Okay. Hmm. Boulders might change the full change of water. Okay. This is why we taught String to uh, Mary, because she'll be able to at least make this a little bit more tolerable. So we'll go up here, and I don't think there's anything around here. No, there's not. And we head over here. Okay, I have a hole there, so best bet if I drop down here. Drop down to Skull Dragon. Okay. We know what that's about. This was on a whim, by the way. Uh, let's just bring him out again and head on up. So we might as well go up to the second VR staircase. Feel I'm pretty sure that one would be a lot more efficient for us. And we are up to this area. We can't get in, we can't get into this war because it's going to try to push us into into there. Okay, here's our our first block pushing puzzle. Okay, let's bring out uh, Mary. One, two. Let's go with this one down. Be careful not to hit the rocks because the rocks are it's going to bone you over. Careful here. This one. Over here. Put this one down here. And then put this one down here. So this should make a little bit more stability in the uh, water at least. Uh, I'm going to put out another one because there, there isn't actually any, any like unique Pokemon here besides uh, Seal, uh, Seal, Slowpoke, and uh, Krabby. 
I doubt we'll actually see a Krabby, but if we do, I'll make note of it. Okay, let's go up to this one. That's a weird rock. Hey, hey, a nugget! Actually, let's, uh, let's grab that of X accuracy, toss it. There we go. X accuracy, X accuracy is now gone. And, uh, boo boo boo, down here. <laughs> I am, like, double checking, like, a small map. Just so I know exactly where I'm going, because I I'll hate to get lost. Nope. Uh, nope. Okay. Because immediately we came in from the wrong side. Uh, where you're supposed to go in this place is you are supposed to go from uh, Koga's. Uh, Vermilion? No, no, not Vermilion. Uh, tch -tch -tch. You're supposed to come from Koga's town first. Because, see, here's the exit to get out. Everything resets uh, once you leave, so uh, it's best not to do that. And... Let's just use... Um... <laughs> Sorry if I'm getting, uh, getting, like, a little stuttery here, because... It's just a lot of information to bring out for me and trying to go make my thoughts a little more cohesive. Um, the way you're supposed to enter this area is from Koga's area. Remember that little seaport that we got uh, like right before we left? We battled those trainers first, and they were all water type users, and we can actually see people in the water? Yeah, that was where we were supposed to enter this area from. <sighs> so we could. Uh, you know, get a better ju get a better way to this area. So I'm essentially doing this in reverse, which isn't like really considered a good thing, because I'm supposed to handle all this first. And yeah, oh right, I don't have it on. Because this should make everything a lot more clean and concise for us. And after that one done, we head back down and bring those all those boulders down into the second level. And uh, da 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 da. There's the next boulder. Yeah, you really... That's why I never insulted Strength once I got it, because Strength is actually useful for us. Uh, we are going down to... Uh, yep. We're going down now. No, oh, well, wait. You see why I'm using a map? <laughs> Like, I, I can't... I would be... I'll be stuck here for, like, an hour. So, just to make things a little easier for me, I decide just to grab a map real quick. And this should be the ball that actually stays, because it's best we're going to block off some of the stream. Splash! <laughs> okay. We have that one taken care of, so we might as well head back up to the uh, negative one floor? Oh, over the basement. <laughs> floor negative one. Yes, that's a perfect number. Okay, uh, let's go... Oh, I repel went off. And, uh, da da da, oh wait. Don't need you to use that. Don't need you to use that again. So, uh, six. Yeah, six will bring us. Yeah, we had to just backtrack to very 
Are we able to do that? Yeah, we, we, we can, we can. Take this one down here. Those balls are back in place. And if we go into the current here, we'll be forcefully reset back to basement. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, we'll be put back to the very bottom of the basement. And then we'll be able to cycle upwards to get to the very top of the area again to place on those rocks. There we go, and here we go. With this, we can actually set up everything correctly. I'm surfing on skull cracking here. I like how it just capitalized and ING is just lowercase. Bloosh. And there we go, that's where that current is now stable. So now we can easily cross over to the R side and get back to the very top of the... Uh, get to the R side of the Sea Islands. No, wait, what am I doing? Uh, we already put down the two rocks before, so we can actually go find out why we're here. And just give me a quickie second. Okay, that's set up, and the rocks are right there. So, um, there is this, and oh, there's a bird here. I'm pretty sure we've seen in one of the, uh, what is it again? One of the telescopes that there was a... There was a bird of ice flying over these islands, and I think we found its home. So let me just save real quick. Because whenever you're up against a Pokemon that's out in the open, it's always good to save. Because you don't know if you're going to fuck up. So, let's now interact with it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is one of the legendary birds. This is Articuno, the bird of the shivering ice. The first of the three legendary birds of Kanto. Uh, <laughs> Articuno is based off of Fanghong, an ice bird in Chinese mythology. Now, what, we're, what we are going to do is we're going to use Thunder Wave immediately. That's the reason why I kept Jolt with it, because it makes it easier to catch these Pokemon. Articuno is only rocking two moves. It's Ice Beam and Peck. So, if you're using a... Uh, <laughs> um, that's why I have Hotshot. That's specifically the reason why I got Hotshot. It's a very good special attacker. So, clearly it's going to shred through everybody's HP with relative ease. Since it's flying type, I'm not able to use. I'm not able to use uh, dig to avoid move, and that's why we reset. Okay, and we're back. So, yeah, I want to have Jolt up front. Then we'll use uh, the Hot Shot to lower down her its HP. It's a huge special attacker. Not much in not much in speed area, but relatively good defensively and with long with long range attacks. Um, since its only two moves are Ice Beam and Pack, it's good to inflict the paralysis now and hope to God you have a Pokemon that's immune to it. Hotshot is the best recommendation for this. Um, next, I want to use Double Team. Get my evasion up and do it again. Get to the point where Jolt can't exactly be hit the best. And then whittle down its HP with my uh, Body Slam. That's three. Four. The max uh, evasion you can have is um, stage six. 
This is why I kept it on as well. I essentially made Jolt extremely annoying against Pokemon that he is already paralyzed. And there we go, we should be relatively untouchable for this. Relatively. So now let's inflict uh, some physical damage. Slowly but surely, we should be able to wind it a little down our Dekuno from this assault of small... Oh no. Mm, that was a thing I was trying to avoid. <laughs> it's not happy. Okay, let's go with Hot Shot. Let's use Takedown. This should be good. Not that much on damage radius. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fast. So its critical hit rate is huge. I want to bring out Skull Kraken then. It's already paralyzed. I don't have I don't have any uh, offensive moves. Uh, okay. Now let's start using Ultra Balls. Because Ultra Balls at this point have a higher catch rate. There we go! Articuno got caught with the cost of Hotshot and, jo and uh, Jolt. Don't worry, he'll be going over to Pokemon Sire. <laughs> what, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here first and. Uh... <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's get out of here. That, that's our main thing right now. Okay, let's just reverse up up here. So we can we can get over to no nope, that's the wrong way. Uh, we need to get over to the other side. So that's already done. Okay, got it. Thankfully, skull cracking was the last one there, so he should be the one to at least surface back to the surface. I, I'm going to be cutting obviously from here. And I'll see you at the surface. Oh, my repel wore, wore off. We did it. Huh! On the way up, we ran into a Kingler. Uh, Kingler is the pre-evolution to Krabby, which we have not seen yet. It's a pure water type and a crab. It's also the owner of the move uh, Guillotine, which is an instant kill move of the normal variety. It's very, very dangerous. Wow, speak of the devil and he shall come. It almost tried, he tried to use it on me. Huh. Wow, um, yeah, that's one hit KO. So, yeah, be careful if you're if you ever see that coming. And here we are with Krabby. Lucky for us, we were just about to escape. Um, Krabby is a pure wire type. Just like Kingler, it is a physical attacker. Not being exactly very proficient with speed, its power is ludicrously high. But there's a problem with that being in Gen 1. Fall wire moves being physically oriented, uh, sorry, specially oriented. So it makes Krabby it's useful as a bow of a hole during a during a rainstorm. Yeah, it. No, no, it's not good. It's not good at all. So, right before we end off this episode, let's fight let's fight this train real quick, and then go straight to the next city. I love fun with the fishies. <laughs>
Yeah, sorry, Arcade. I, I kind of neglected you a little. A little? Uh, he's fighting up against Wire type, so he he's best but not the happiest camper. I know that much. <laughs> and he got some more experience. Okay, so next time on Pokemon Yellow, we'll be going through the rest of Route 20. Yeah, this is Route 20. And we'll be heading back to Koga's area. I hope to see you all next time.